It's March 25th, 2021. It's Cardano 360 day. It's going to be a good one. Get ready. Let's. Here's the question. What are you going to be doing today at 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 17.30 GMT, 18.30 CET? See that I used both the uh, 24 hour clock and the 12 hour clock to satisfy both the North Americans and the Europeans and basically everybody else. You're gonna be watching the Cardano 360 show. So, Charles has kind of been hinting lately that this is going to be a special one. We already know that it, it, we're supposed to get the the Alonzo date, which is going to be we're supposed to get a target date for Alonzo, which is going to tell us the target date for us getting smart contracts, right? Really big deal in this ecosystem, something we've been building up to for years now. That's supposed to happen today, but there might also be some surprises, right? I mean, we've still got an African bird up in the air. There could be other birds up in the air we don't know about, right? And these are like uh, little little developments, little partnerships, little deals that are coming home to roost. So we, I have a strange feeling we might get some surprises today. So I would definitely tune into this one if I were you. Um, apparently they're going to start making mini Cardano 360s, 360s as well. Um, they're going to stitch together a bunch of like little 30 second, one minute clips explaining uh, some highlight type material and they're going to stitch those together into like some kind of 10 to 12 minute thing. But I would tune into this Cardano 360 thing today. I don't know when these the 12 minute version is gonna start happening, maybe that's next month or something, but I would tune into this one today. I think we're gonna get some surprises and I, I think we're definitely gonna get some good news. So that's going down today. Um, Charles's Twitter also tweeted out this link. This leads me to believe that the Cardano 360 show today may highlight ways in which Cardano will not experience some of the shortcomings that leading blockchains have in the past. Like the time described here where Bitcoin accidentally issued 184 billion BTC in one block. So this was slightly before my time. I got in a little bit after this, but I remember this was pretty fresh in everybody's minds when I got in in like, uh, 2013. So topic number three, Catalyst Fund 5 is going to have a $2 million total budget. Included in this $2 million will be a very interesting $50,000 metadata challenge. So I think a lot of people don't realize right now that metadata can be used to do a bunch of different things, including proving the existence of a certain document or an event to third parties without necessarily revealing the data that's contained in those documents or data related to that event. So this means you can do cool things in the blockchain, the Cardano blockchain right now without using smart contracts. Um, I believe this is what happened with the uh, prior New Balance anti-counterfeiting solution that's already launched, the beef chain traceability solution that's already launched. And it looks like the winners of this uh, this Catalyst Challenge are going to be incubated and supported by the IOHK metadata team. This is the first time, I believe, that um, IOHK is actually going to fully support the uh, Catalyst winners. Before, I mean, people were just getting money, but now you're going to have, it kind of sounds like full support and incubation by a IOHK, which I think is probably a bigger deal than the money, to be honest. Um, and it just based on how excited IOHK is about the potential of these kind of metadata based solutions, it sort of sounds like people waiting for Gogan and smart contracts are probably sleeping on the full potential of what can be done with metadata on Cardano right now. So hopefully this challenge in Catalyst Fund 5 will show us just how powerful these metadata based solutions can be in Cardano. Um, item number four. So this is a Catalyst dashboard uh, that'll give you all the stats on the current projects in Cardano's multi-million dollar decentralized innovation fund. So Catalyst is the world's biggest decentralized innovation fund right now. 
This is the biggest one in the world. Uh, apparently, IdeaScale, which is which is the platform that Catalyst is currently running on, they've never seen any community grow like this. I mean, probably both in terms of the number of people participating and also in terms of the amount of money involved. It's kind of crazy. Um, you know, I mean, this is basically what you get when you have a crazy billionaire devoting all of his time and huge amounts of his money to building a community. You get something crazy like this, and we're all kind of the uh, we're all kind of the beneficiaries of that. Um, so similarly, Charles revealed in his latest uh, YouTube video that it looks like IOHK is going to end up spending 15 to 30 million dollars this year on research and they'll hire 100 to 200 people. So this is all kind of an investment in the future of our ecosystem. I mean normally the way this normally happens in um, a normal you know like European or, or North American corporation is that the stockholders sort of bear the brunt of all the financial pain you know they invest a bunch of money all the investors they receive stock and in exchange they put the money to pay for this kind of stuff we've got this really unique capital formation system in crypto that enables what we're seeing right now in Cardano right like we've got IOHK and Charles putting putting up the money for all this research right they're paying the payroll for these hundred to two hundred people are going to hire this year they're putting up the 50 to 15 to 30 million dollars and we all have a piece of this ecosystem in the sense that we own coins in the ecosystem but we don't have to write a check for that research and development that IOHK is doing like we don't have to worry about how much IOHK is spending on payroll, right? Like we don't even know. We don't even know what their budget is for those 100 to 200 people. Um, but we're probably going to we're probably going to be beneficiaries of all that research and all the work done by those 100 to 200 people. Of course, IOHK also owns Cardano, and they own a lot, right? They own a lot. Don't underplay that. They own a lot of Cardano, so they're they're going to benefit greatly from the development of Cardano, but it's kind of like, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, we haven't really seen capital formation like this in the past, right? It's like Cardano is pretty early stage. You could say that the biggest piece of the Cardano, you know, user, user product isn't even launched yet, right? If this were a corporation, in order to get in on a corporation at this at such an early stage, you pretty much have to be an accredited investor, which means you would have to have a lot of money, right? There are a lot of assets or a lot of income and qualify under the accredited investor uh, regulations. Um, a lot of people in crypto wouldn't, wouldn't qualify as accredited investors. In crypto, you end up buying coin you know, on Binance or Kraken, and in Cardano's case, more recently, Coinbase, and you can participate in these ecosystems very, very early on. And the cool part is with Cardano, we've got this crazy billionaire again. We have this crazy billionaire who was willing to bear the brunt of all the time spent, all the payroll, all the research, you know, this gigantic network of developers and academics and scientists and cryptographers around the globe and they're all working to make this ecosystem something very very valuable right and of course IOHK their stated mission revolves largely around sort of all the banking the unbanked kind of notions and the creating an economic identity for people in the third world so that we can accomplish this transfer of wealth from the developed world to the developing world and give people born into those societies without any kind of choice of their own, giving them a chance to compete on, on something that begins approaching a level playing ground of people in the developed world, right? Um, 
I haven't heard anybody who doesn't want to get behind, who won't get behind that. Everybody's in favor of that. But at the same time, we're also super lucky in that we've got IOHK spending all this money and all of us are just kind of along for the ride. I mean, we never talk about investment or price in this channel, but I think everybody listening to this video has probably glanced at the at glance at the charts in the last year and they probably know where we were a year ago, where we are now. Um, I think today is going to be one of those days. I hope today is one of those days where, where we watch the Cardano 360 and we all realize how 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 nice it's been to be along for the ride while IOHK does all this work. And with that, I will see you tomorrow.